pretty straightforward sort of king post trust trust believe it or not taking the weight actually from the top so it's logical to think that just as one when you push down your legs will go apart so when you push that down that will too some will be taken down there this will go into whoops this will go into blah, 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 blah. this will go into tension at the bottom which seems to suggest that and this what's the weight 96 yes the one might have been able to relieve the weight it just strings sure yeah, that's what I was thinking of. obviously balsa wood can take tension but so can string and that weighs a hell of a lot li less um it's very wide in that configuration again you've you've um braced it there on the assumption that it's going to distort in that direction and that's going to go into compression if it distorts in the other direction it's right. going to drop out in tests so it, it always went this way did it so, yeah I made sure it was well it's interesting then because if you put a st string across there it would have done the same thing <laughs> right yeah, exactly. Well, no, I mean, obviously, well, that's, that's smart of me, isn't it? Ho, ho. Well, I'm not trying to be smart. I'm just suggesting that the tensile member there and a tensile member here and here, instead of the compressive ones there and a piece of balsa wood there, would have seen... Yeah. What we need to do is to watch and see whether, and under testing, under loading, that indeed is what happens. Of course, if it proves me wrong, then I've uh, made a boo-boo, haven't I? But um, we'll see. Where do you think it's going to break? Where would you like it to break, um. Mike? I think it might break on the corners there because what I did was I drilled the hole right through so it's pretty thin there. Ah. Way. Well, it's true that this would have a neutral axis just like many members do that bend mm -hmm. um, and they go into compression and tension so in the middle they're neither one nor t'other. So, but that's rather a lot, lot that you've taken out there, isn't it? What that might do is it might mean that the material might shear along that point. Or right here. That's true, where it makes that bend. Whereas if that was string, it would have been fine. It would just going boom, boom. Okay. Hindsight's 2020 vision, I grant. So let's, let's see what happens as we load the thing anyway. Great. Not a murmur. Okay. Perfectly okay there. Now... <coughs> absolutely graphic you'll see from above but what happens is that those two diagonals mm -hmm. fell out so it actually went into tension so it may have done what you suggested in testing the other way but because you strengthened it said <laughs> we'll show you and I'm gonna go the other way all right look that seems and indeed it did break there so we're looking at chicken and egg right now what went first did the dropping and distortion aid and abet that or did that give way and allow the other to happen? It might have been the latter because this was over here. If that gave way, then it would have indeed distorted in the direction that you thought you'd stopped. Okay. We'll have to look at the slow-mo. Yes, well, of course, hindsight is 2020 vision, as they say. But this is a graphic example of members in um, compression, like those two diagonals, if the thing distorts, they'll fall out, and it could have been prevented by two tensile members in the other direction. And in fact, it is the slipping out of the members that happened first, before the ends broke. They're still intact at this point from this overhead shot. Then they break at the top right-hand corner there. So I think we'll see probably from the frontal one that it's exactly the same. Because the distortion allowed those members to drop out, they were not in compression, but in tension. And so were redundant as far as a weight penalty is concerned and could have been replaced by tensile members in the other diagonal direction. So this bridge could be reduced enormously in weight and could have then ended up giving a great ratio because it only took a couple of bricks. Let's see what the statistics are. Um, oops, well, the weight's wrong there. It should have been 96. So really the ratio, which is wrong anyway, should have been 41.6, very low. But never mind, he learnt a lot. Okay, Gabriel's one, very classic.